The next procedure I'd like to go through is drawing labs from a central line catheter. This procedure will be the same for either a Hickman or a pick line. Actually, it'll be the same for a port if you don't have to access it. So we're only going to be working from this, this point onward at this point if we're just drawing labs and not doing any dressing changes. So I've got everything prepared here that I'm going to need, including a new cap because we always change the cap with a dressing change. I've washed my hands, I've donned my gloves, and I've told, you know, prepared the client for what we're going to do. So I can go ahead and get started. I'll take my alcohol swab and clean this cap really good. Take my saline syringe and attach it. I will fl unclamp, flush this, and see if I can get a blood return. Which, if you, I don't know if you can see it, I'm getting a little bit of a blood return. Normally, you're going to get a great one when this is attached to a client. So I have flushed my 10 cc's in, 5 to 10 mLs, and will withdraw 4 to 6 mLs as a waste. I'll dispose of this syringe with the bloody waste into my sharps container. Again, I'll take my alcohol swab and I'll clean this off. Then we've got these nice safety holders that you attach to the end of your cap. Just connect it and connect your tube for your blood collection. Just put your tube on and push. And if you'll see that's going, that's filling very nicely and that's how it should work coming out of your Hickman catheter. You'll fill any, any tube that is sterile on the interior first prior to another tube. And so in this case, I'm gathering a serum separator tube, which um, has the gel in the bottom, and that's got a sterile interior except for the gel. That's used for any of your chemistries. The next one I would fill would be perhaps your um, lavender tube, which will do all your hematologies and your CBCs, and prograph level, and a separate. So that's uh, once you've collected your specimens, you can disconnect your safety holder and discard it into your sharps container. Once again, you will flush with saline, take your alcohol swab, clean your cap really good. You want to flush with at least 10 of saline. So I'm going to connect it like this. 10 of saline. Disconnect and dispose of this in the trash. Of course, the last thing you will do is to uh, flush your catheter with heparin. But of course, we've drawn blood through this catheter, so we're going to change the cap. So you take your heparin syringe and you take your cap out of its sterile package. I always connect my cap sterile to sterile. Flush my cap. Make sure that this is clamped. When I remove this cap, I just drop it, I clean the outside of this with alcohol. Minimize your exposure time. Put your cap back on and flush with heparin and you're done. Go back and make sure your caps are nice and secure, your connections are secure. And that's how you would drop blood from your central line.